Try to construct a picture to illustrate perfect competition at work. If we assume there's perfect competition, we assume that the selling price has been determined by the market. As we saw earlier, the selling price would therefore be the equilibrium price, the price determined by the intersection of the market demand and market supply curves. Looking at the demand curve for a single producer, their selling price is given to them, set at a certain level dictated by the market. The demand curve of this producer and all other individual producers is shown as a horizontal line. This is the selling price as determined by the market. Let's think why the business will not sell at a higher price. Well, no one will buy at a higher price because all buyers know what the market price is. Remember, there's perfect knowledge and there are many other sellers out there to buy from. And why not try to sell at a lower price? Consumers surely always love to buy at a lower price. Well, if a business can sell everything it makes at the market price, there's no reason why it should sell at a lower price. So, under perfect competition, the seller cannot sell his goods at a price higher than the market price and will not sell at a price lower than the market price. That's why the demand curve for each producer is a horizontal curve. 